Hey YouTubers, my name is Gregor Wilkie, and I'm a graduate of the University of Wisconsin-Madison with a bachelor's degree in forest science and environmental studies, and I'm also a certified arborist. Today, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to tell the difference between sugar and Norway maple trees, two trees that are commonly confused for each other because of their identical opposite branching structure and similarly shaped leaves. I'm going to teach you key differences in bark, buds, foliage, flowers, and seeds that are going to help you tell the two trees apart. One of the easiest ways to identify a Norway maple is simply based on where the tree is growing. Norway maples are very tolerant of urban growing conditions and can tolerate things such as high heat index, road salt, poor soil, and constricted growing spaces. And therefore, Norway maple is one of the most commonly planted street trees in North America. So if the tree in question is growing on a city street, or near a road, or in town, chances are the tree in question is a Norway maple, like one of these three here. In contrast, sugar maple does not tolerate urban growing conditions at all, and needs cool, moist, deep, fertile soil to thrive. In addition to that, Norway maple was introduced to the United States from Europe in the 1700s, and therefore is not a major component of our native forests unless it is in the areas where Norway maple has invaded them. You're more likely to see a sugar maple in a forest than a Norway maple. Now there is one variety of Norway maple trees you'll commonly see in town, and that's the Crimson King. This is in fact a Norway maple tree, but it's bred for uh, purple and crimson foliage. And if you see that, definitely not a sugar maple. Now there are exceptions to rules of course, and one place you might find both types of trees growing together is in a city park. Therefore I will teach you differences in buds, bark, and foliage so you can tell them apart when you find them growing together. Now here in front of us we have a young sugar maple tree. You can see that the bark is a grayish brown in color. Uh, the bark is fairly tight to the tree and has some vertical plates and fissures but there's not a lot of depth to the bark. Um, you can't really stick your finger into any kind of cracks or crevices, and the bark doesn't really exfoliate at all. You can't really break a piece off. Now here in front of us, we have a young Norway maple bark, and you can see that the bark is again a grayish brown in color, fairly close to sugar maple. And the bark is also very tight to the tree. I'd say it's quite a bit tighter um, especially on these upper limbs here, you can see just how smooth and tight that bark is on the Norway maple. Um, it's a dead giveaway, but if you look lower on the trunk, there's less vertical fissures and plating. Uh, there's even less depth to the bark. You can snap little pieces off, but it's not much. Now one of the things that makes identifying a tree by bark sometimes difficult for people is that bark grows and changes and evolves with the tree as it ages. So now we're looking at a mature sugar maple tree and look just how much different the bark has become over maturity. Now we have a very shaggy looking tree. Um, the bark is often called alligator skin just because of the fissures and shagginess to it. Um, we call it the crocodile skin bark. It's still that grayish brown, but there's a lot more depth to the bark. You can peel off vertical fissures and, and uh, pieces of the bark, and it's just got a very brown, shaggy, unkempt look to it at this point in its life cycle. Now, if you had a hard time telling sugar and Norway maple apart based on their bark when they were young, I sympathize with you. It's definitely not easy. But at this point in maturity, Norway maple and sugar maple have completely different looking bark. Here we're looking at a Norway maple, and you can see that the tight gray bark has changed into a kind of a gray brown bark with vertical fissures running all the way through the tree. It's not shaggy, it's not plated, it's not exfoliating, but there's a lot of depth, a lot of ridging into it, and it's almost diamond plated like an ash tree if you know what that looks like. So at this point, there's really no excuse to not recognize the difference in bark between a Norway maple and a sugar maple once mature. Now here's a side-by-side -side comparison of a sugar maple leaf on our left and a Norway maple leaf on our right. 
And I don't want you to take size into consideration here because Norway maple leaves can get very large too. Um, depends if you grab a sun leaf that grows in the sun or a shade leaf like this one that grows in the shade, they get a lot larger. But what I want you to look at is uh, differences in the lobes of the leaves. Both the sugar maple and the Norway maple have five main lobes. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five lobes. However, you'll notice that between the lobes, the sugar maple has blunt tips all the way around, and the Norway maple has more sharp tips around the lobe. And that's a great way to tell the leaves apart. Here we have a side-by-side -side of a Norway maple leaf with a Crimson King Norway maple leaf. And you can see that both the leaves are the same. They both have five lobes. However, the uh, Crimson King leaf is definitely a deep purplish maroon color, whereas the Norway maple remains its dark green. Uh, this leaf is a little bit damaged here, but I just wanted to show you that although it is a different color, it is not a different tree and the leaves are the same. Another excellent way to tell sugar maple apart from Norway maple is by the fall foliage. In the fall, sugar maple will turn a dazzling orange or a brilliant red depending on weather conditions. On the other hand, Norway maple will turn mostly a dull yellow. This is a dead giveaway of the tree in the fall. Look at the sugar maple display on here in this northern hardwood forest. One of the best ways to tell a sugar maple apart from a Norway maple is by looking at the buds. Uh, this is something that's only going to help you out if you have a low hanging branch and you can see the buds. But nonetheless, it's a great trick to distinguish the trees. We're looking at a Norway maple bud here, and you can see that the bud is clustered. It is a bright green. Well, here we see the sharp, brown, pointed bud of a sugar maple. The bud is a lot smaller, it's a lot longer. It's a pale brown versus a bright green of the Norway maple. And if I touch this bud, one of the best things that gives away a sugar maple is if you touch the bud like this, and you feel like the bud could poke your eye out, and this actually hurts a little bit getting stabbed by this bud, you know that that's a sugar maple. Just by touching the hard tip of this bud, I can tell that any tree is a sugar maple just by feeling the bud. Whereas in the Norway maple, again, we have this round, clustered bud. And it's, you know, it's not soft to the touch, but it's not gonna stab my eye out either. So, just give them both a feel, and you should be able to distinguish a Norway from a sugar very easily with this method. Now, Norway and sugar maple both flower to produce seeds, but only Norway maple produces showy flowers. If you happen to catch a Norway maple during leaf emergence, you may be treated to a beautiful display of flowers such as in this image. A sugar maple, on the other hand, does not produce any showy flowers. These are the seeds, otherwise known as samaras, of the Norway maple. Look at how obtuse of an angle they lay apart from each other. Now here are the seeds of a sugar maple. Notice how acute of an angle they hang apart from each other. Now the color doesn't matter, both the Norway and sugar maple seeds will turn brown when they mature, and they will both be bright green when they first emerge. Well, I hope this video has been successful in teaching you the key differences between sugar and Norway maple trees, and that you can now tell these trees apart on your own. Please subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.